uh, as to answer your question, that Denmark will be able to do the kind of missions we did, like the one in Libya, uh, and if there might be uh, some place else in the future, we have to participate. We are going to participate also on the hard side of the military um, of the military mission. That's one side. The other side of uh, Danish uh, defense policy is to build up uh, fragile states, to be able also to prevent conflicts, uh, which might, uh, if not uh, intervening, uh, be developing into, some th into something where we had to react uh, military maybe too late. So you could say we are trying to both to work both on the one leg and also on the other leg. And I think that's a good way of working, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we agree. Um, I think you've heard not only from our NATO ambassador, but also uh, from defense secretaries and others that we do have a concern about um, the, the sustainability of our NATO uh, forces uh, and deterrent. It's something that uh, we have discussed very openly uh, in NATO. We will continue to do so. Um, we believe that um, uh, the uh, the alliance uh, that has stood the test of time since uh, the end of the Second World War is uh, the premier you know, military alliance uh, in all of history. And there is no indication that it will be uh, less needed in the future. Uh, there will be new challenges and threats, but uh, the uh, environment uh, is certainly not one yet that we would like to see uh, where uh, the collective defense uh, that we've all pledged to under NATO uh, will never be needed again. In addition, the, the role that NATO has uh, played uh, in Libya most recently, um, in Afghanistan, uh, has been instrumental to uh, a lot of the values that we share. You know, Denmark alone um, flew nearly 600 missions. Uh, and... Uh, was highly regarded uh, in the professionalism of your military in doing so. Um, so we will follow closely developments uh, in Europe. The minister is right that you know we also have our own budgetary uh, challenges. So we have to get smarter. I mean, let's be let, let's pursue smart defense uh, and smart defense, uh, which is a part of you know smart power. You know, requires us to you know, be looking for ways that we can cooperate more, where we can uh, come up with uh, new approaches to meeting our uh, strategic and tactical uh, requirements. Uh, so this will be a subject of a lot of conversation uh, in the upcoming year. Next question, Matt Lee, thank you. Hello, I'm Madam Secretary. Hello. I hope I don't shock you too much, but I actually only have one question. I can't believe it's it. Got, it's, got, it's got two parts, but it's... Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, but then, it's, I, then I'm not at all shocked. <laughs> I'm actually reassured. <laughs> um, as you were no doubt aware, Bradley Manning's trial begins tomorrow. Um, I'm wondering if you have any thoughts about that, but more broadly, what uh, your thoughts are about the impact, the, the impact that the WikiLeaks incident, if we can call it that, had and ha is having, if it is still having any effect or deleterious effect on U.S. diplomacy in the way uh, uh, foreign policy is conducted? Well, Matt, I cannot comment on an ongoing legal proceeding, and as you rightly point out, the trial is beginning, and uh, we will uh, obviously uh, save any comment uh, while that proceeding is ongoing. Um, I've said numerous times from this podium and in other locations uh, that uh, uh, it was uh, a, a very uh, unfortunate and damaging uh, uh, actions that action that were taken uh, that uh, put at risk um, individuals and relationships uh, to an extent that uh, uh, we uh, you know took it uh, very seriously and. Um, launched a, a vigorous diplomatic effort uh, to try to counter. Um, <clears throat> I think that um, in uh, an age when so much information is uh, you know, flying through uh, cyberspace, uh, we all have to be aware of the fact that uh, you know, some information which is sensitive, which uh, does affect 
uh, the security uh, of individuals and relationships deserves to be protected. Uh, and we will continue to take uh, necessary steps to do so. Last question. You're the Yellen's Post and Newspaper. Madam Secretary, with Denmark's new uh, socialist government, you found a colleague who has traditionally been very critical of American policies. Um, how do you look at that? And are you the least bit worried that you, America, might lose a close ally in the long term? And to the Danish foreign minister, the United States have stepped up uh, its killing of insurgents with armed drones. Uh, do you think that's a breach of uh, international law? And uh, if yes, have you brought that up in the conversation today? Well, first, let me say that we, you know, we believe that our relationship uh, with Denmark is uh, strong and enduring and we respect the right of the people of Denmark to choose their leaders. But we do not believe that uh, uh, that uh, in any way uh, interrupts or undermines uh, the strength of our partnership, both bilaterally and multilaterally. Uh, and I really don't recognize the gentleman that you've just described because <laughs> my, uh, my interactions with the minister um, have been uh, not only cordial but very constructive. Uh, and we each bring to these official positions that uh, we hold our own, uh, our own views. Uh, that kind of goes with the territory, having come up through politics in a democracy and having many occasions in the past to express uh, those uh, various opinions. Uh, but I think that uh, uh, our meeting today um, set a very strong base on which we will build and we'll look to uh, find ways uh, to work together even uh, beyond what we are already doing. Um, so it is, it is always, um, uh, I think, important to first recognize that uh, nations' interests and relationships are um, of much more historic depth than um, individuals, perhaps. But I am very much looking forward to working closely uh, with the minister on a range of uh, matters that concern us both. And the same from my side. I look very much forward to working with, uh, with the U.S. administration. I think you mentioned an American. I cannot recognize that. Uh, I mean, I'm not on Danish when I criticize uh, government. Uh, <laughs> that was before uh, me. It's, 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 you could say, politics. Uh, I'm a great bewunder of uh, American culture. I think some of us listened in our young days to the same music, saw the f famous f same films, have been reading the same books. There have been a lot of interaction. Some of us have have family here, uh, so there's a lot of, in, uh, of, of, of relationships. They will continue, they will continue. And of course, among good friends, you're always in a situation where there are questions you judge uh, differently. Uh, that's also the case between uh, our governments, but on the very important, uh, heavy uh, agendas, Libya, Libya, Afghanistan, uh, we work together at the Arctic area, we work very well together, and I assure you that will continue. Thank you very much, and thank you, Minister. Merry thank Christmas, Happy much. New Year. Thank you, <laughs> <to> you. <laughs> we'll head out this way. Yeah. So, when you go home,